video is gonna be all about if a J1 visa or an experience in other countries as an intern is really worth it, guys. So, uh, hopefully, this is gonna be a short video because di na ako nag sa mukha and everything. Well, kakagisip ko lang, guys. Don't judge me. It's Sunday, okay? So, yun, guys. Actually, someone asked me if I do recommend it, if it's really worth your time, your money, everything. Because it's gonna be a year, one year siya, guys. So, yun. I'm gonna go ahead and start why I really love, uh, or I'm gonna start with my story, guys. So, first of all, guys, I'm not, we're not rich. We're not, okay? Lahat ng investment, ng in-invest namin is loan from family, from the bank, Lahat ng pwedeng utangan, guys. Imagine, it's a big amount of money. It's almost half a million, guys. I'm not gonna... I'm gonna tell you the exact amount if magkano talaga yung nag-assess ko later on on my... Later on, before I end this video, okay? So, guys, first of all, hindi ko siya tinuloy after I graduated college. Yun yung medyo nag -re regret ako, guys. Kasi, doubtful nga ako if kaya ko ba siyang bawiin? If kaya ba ng family ko? I do have three siblings. Lahat, kami, lahat sila nag-aaral pa. And, yun, wala akong, hindi naman mataas yung sweldo ko from, from my, uh, well, I mean, kaka-graduate ko lang, guys. That was it, like, after graduation. Yun yung nag-regret talaga ako, guys. Sana, sana, sabi ko, sana, tinake ko na yung opportunity na yun. Kasi after graduation, in-offer na nila. And I did my uh, trainee after um, a year of my graduation, which is, hindi na pa siya pasok with internship. Training na na siya. And, ang maganda, if you're going to start with work and travel and uh, internship, you can go ahead and, you can go back to the US for a training. Yun, guys. Yun yung maganda doon. And, siya sabi ko sa inyo, guys, if it's, if you're worried about if it's gonna be worth it, if you're gonna get your money back, if you're gonna, do, uh, if you're gonna have savings, the answer for me, guys, it's a yes. Why, guys? No, pumunta ako na yes. Sabi, sabi ng dad ko, okay, um, first of all, you don't need to worry if hindi ka makapag-save ng money as long as mababalik mo yung inutan. Kasi I took a chance, eh. Um, two of my friends actually went there after we graduated. And they said that, um, they said na, Yes, it's really worth it. And at the same time, mababalik mo yung money mo. And then, you can have savings as well. And then, guys, nung sinabi nila yun, syempre, I trusted them. They're my uh, friends. They're my closest friends in college. And yun, guys, I took a chance after, I, uh, after one year. So, I have an experience already. So, in my part pala, trainee, you have to have one year experience to qualify. Remember that, guys, ha? Okay? So, Yon, after na yon, nagaya ako ng friends from my work. And then yun, sabay sabay kami pumunta. Sabay sabay kami nag-apply. And sabay sabay din kami nakaalis, guys. So yun, um, para sa akin, worth it siya. Because, kung masipag ka, guys, ha, reality, baka sabi nyo kasi, reality, guys, if masipag ka, pwede mong makuha yung money mo. You can get your money back. And at the same time, you can save. So, it really depends sa state, sa kung makakaiwas ka sa mga sale, sa if masipag ka, if you are okay with picking up shift. May mga pick up kasi na shift. Malalaman nyo yan guys, pag nandun na kayo. Um, yun, parang overtime siya guys. And, yun, kung talagang committed kayo with the work you have there. And especially if you are hospitality in a uh, graduate. Malaki yung tip natin, guys. May mga tip tayo dyan. Kasi mayroong mga internship for other programs, but sobrang ganda nung sa hospitality industry because yun nga, baka kaipon ka with the tips as well. Medyo malaki yun, guys. And, ano pa ba? Ang dami ko sabi, guys. But yun, uh, the amount, sasabihin, uh, saka, nabawi ko yung money, which, ang money na in-invest ko ay 416,000. Kasama na yun yung visa, yung agency, yung ticket. Actually, yung ticket namin is um, back and forth na siya, round trip. And then, host by his host company sa 
host ko. But parang pang isa guys, nakalimutan ko ano yung other from host, other than host company. Yung mga application forms nila guys, yun yun. Nag-total siya sa 416,000 kasama yung first month ko sa, uh, parang allowance ko sa US. Siguro ang allowance ko is, uh, ang dinala ko is, 50,000 or 75,000 pesos. Pero kasi kasama na yung rent ko sa bahay. Pero sobra yun, guys. Kasi nag-start ka ako ng work after 3 days. Talagang inaisa nila. Nag-start na ako mag-intern, mag-duty. And, nakaipon na kaagad daw. Kasi every 15 days, you have your stipend na kaagad. So, yun, guys, hindi ka talaga malulugi if masipag ka. And, depende sa state, guys. There state na medyo mataas yung stipend mo, but at the same time, mataas yung cost of living. So guys, if you're gonna ask me if what is the best thing, siguro magpumili kayo ng state na medyo low-key sa mga travel, uh, yung mga, i-check nyo kung mataas yung cost of living, if sobrang malame, ganyan, kasi magagastos kayo with clothing as well. So, in my case guys, I am from Indiana. Doon ako nag-intern. Sobrang ganda nyo guys, it's a small state. And then, sobrang tahimik nyo lang guys. Hindi siya masyadong uh, tourist spot. But, convention center siya guys. There are a lot of conventions that is actually happening through all uh, through the year. So, sobrang ganda niya. Hindi ka masyadong makakalabas. If you wanna travel, if you are well off guys, hindi ka masyadong mak makakatravel ka but you have to fly pa or you have to drive. But if you are going to, like for example, like in California, ganyan, medyo mataas lang yung cost of living, but makaka-travel ka. And if it's okay to you na hindi ka, siguro makaka-save ka naman, I'm not really sure. But yeah, yun. Uh, pick a, if you wanna save money, pick a state na hindi masyadong mataas yung cost of living. So yun guys. And if you, I think I'm gonna end this video. And if you have further questions regarding about this topic you can go ahead and follow me on instagram and go ahead and um dm me or you can go ahead and comment down below okay so bye bye and have a great day okay